Good morning, everybody. Strong message today. I want you to take a minute, whatever you're doing, and think about something. Now, I want you to think, if not for you, think for somebody that you, you have in your family. That you say their bridges are burnt, or your bridges are burnt somewhere. God will send you to somebody. He sent some me years ago to somebody. No names are needed. You see, we all have a gift of God. <laughs> Sometimes we fail, but I'm learning, and I know that nothing is a failure with God. Because we are a testimony. I don't know what the heck you're going through or what your family's going through. <laughs> but everybody deserves that opportunity. Not one person in this world is worthless to God. We may call them that, which is wrong, because we are not to be judging. We are no better than the next man or woman. Doesn't matter what your addiction is. If there's an addiction, whether it be anger, whether it be hurt, it doesn't matter. Not one of us are any greater than the other. He is the one. So if you are going through something, or you're trying to help a family member, there's levels. Don't you dare give up on them. Because God didn't give up on you. He won't. No matter how low you are. He will lift you up if you tell him. Ask him. Reach out. No matter how bad your anger is towards them. How much you think they're, they're not going to change. Push them. Even if you can't push anymore, God will push you. He will get you there. They might not have faith, but he will be in there one day. He can get there. Remember, you are the example as a Christian to others to show you are an example. You are God's child. And whatever you're going through, all your family members, whatever you can't stand watching, I don't want to watch them. The person is, is a good person I know deep inside. They're consumed by something. And there's many of us out there, alcoholics, gamblers, and we are consumed in different ways. It makes us no better. And then I find out this person may not make it. They're in the hospital. I was there when the paramedics came. I was there and I'm praying in the bedroom because I get to the point where I said it's hard I, I tell you something it goes in and out and yes we do we do because it was told to me and it went in and out but then finally it came you don't give up on people it doesn't matter how much you think it's a waste of time so you don't don't let them be in the dark Whatever you're going through, if, if it's you, whatever your addiction, whatever your problem is, whatever's holding you back from opening that heart, remember, if we push somebody away, we are the example of a true Christian. You think they're going to come to God? <laughs> it's just thoughts right now. Yeah, we don't like the addict that spends money on dope or gets what goes to jail, but... Never say never with God because all things are possible through him. All things. He can cure any addiction. Like he can pick a man from the dead. He can cure it. And yes, you got to believe. But how many times will you believe somebody that pushes you away and doesn't want to talk to you? Ain't got to give you money. Just be there and feed you and tell you how good God is. And they're going to see you as a Christian. What you do do is talk to him. 
listen, it may sound stupid, but whatever's inside their heart, it has to come out. You see that shell that's around that heart, whether it be the drugs, the drink, that barrier, it's got to be broken. And he adds a hard chip at it with the chisel. But you got to do it. God will never give up on you. And that's how he feels about us. Maybe he, he will give you different ways to try to help. Whether it be you finding them helps. Something. Everybody is worth something to God. Because we are his children. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that if you're putting a needle in your arm, you're gambling, you're having a rage of anger. Remember that he's there. And if you pray on something, see, God knows the time when you're, he knows, you know, it's, it's, it's a, here's a conversation. Oh, I'm not going to drink today. But by eight o'clock you're drinking. I'm not going to use that. But you're using, you see, God knows. And then at the end, I'm tired. I'm not going to do this again. But see, God knows. you got to feed it to God what's going on in your life or your family members. And remember, we are all worthy of God's love. He has a place for us at his, at his side. There's a place for all of us. Remember, it doesn't matter what bridges you burn you will never burn it does matter but God's bridge is non-flammable you understand me you can walk that bridge a thousand times <laughs> you can reach out a thousand times it doesn't matter his bridge you can cross any time of day 24-7 if you're tired and you're put it down you know Reach out. It's a hard thing to do. Our, our, our addiction, whether, like I said, whatever it is, whatever's inflicting us to not come to God. You know, I reached out one time for years. I thought, nothing's happening. It's in His time and His speed. He knows when you're ready. Every step you walk, every move you make has been ordered already. He knows. He knows before you know. He knows when you're going to be angry. He knows when you're going to hurt someone. You're going to hurt yourself. He knows these things. Reach out to them, people. And if there's somebody out there that, in your family that you haven't spoken to because they've got problems, remember, you're standing next to God. You're all the same. No failure, no fault is too much. No fault is too much for God. Reach out. Love you guys. A little emotional. I'd like to send a prayer. I'd set a prayer chain for her and her friend. And let's hope the kidneys get fixed. But uh, I think every person, they're not a waste. I mean, I like what they do. And they, you know, but... Every person in this world is not a waste. Share that.